What's up all my ladies? This is Scorpion Breads here. Let's get the daily bread for November the 10th and the 11th for this weekend, okay? So let's pray over the cards, ladies. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you so much for the continuous growth and love and all of the endeavors that we're, you know, putting our hands on right now. I feel like everything that we're putting our hands on is golden at this moment. I feel like we've been pushing through and we've been progressing and self-growth and just love and abundance. And I thank you for every step that we've taken in this progression. We're coming here today to get some guidance for the Divine Feminine in regards to how we can just be better and continue to move forward in our life so we can open up the door to true love and abundance and true happiness. Thank you so much for all of the strength that you've given to all of these strong ladies that are watching me. Um, let's bring forth some messages of positivity and strength and encouragement. I want these women to be encouraged. I want these women to feel the love, okay? I want them to feel the love that I'm trying to bring to them through these readings. And also, I want them to feel the love that you are sending through them, Jesus, and so that they can love themselves and continue to move and just be beautiful, beautiful, and blossom, blossom. Thank you so much, Spirit, for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Please give us some guidance for the Divine Feminine for November the 10th and 11th, for Saturday and Sunday, for this weekend. Thank you so much for all your messages in the past, present, and future. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, ladies, let's find out what's going on. November the 11th, I mean the 10th and the 11th, all right. Please give me some messages for the divine for this weekend. Thank you so much. November the 10th. All right. I'm almost there. All right. One more, y'all. All right. Thank you so much, Spirit. Spirit, please give me some messages for the divine feminine. All right. The love is in reverse, the moon. So like here yeah I knew it all right so what I'm basically getting here ladies I just feel like um due, due to this heartbreak with this whole situation with the divine masculine that you went through I feel like you're fearing the unknown right now I feel like you're ready to go out there in a search I mean not I mean and it's not even that you're searching for love. I don't feel like you're searching for love at all. Um, I just feel like you went through so much with the divine masculine that you're kind of scared of love. And you, you, you're scared that you might get into another, somebody might pull you into another third party relationship. This is two threes. All right. So this is, what is this? The three of pentacles and then, um, you know, the three of cups. You know, you're scared to invest time into something that might possibly turn into a third party relationship you're you're scared to invest time and emotion into something with someone and it could potentially they could be juggling with you you know what i'm saying and they could be trying to split their time wanting you to work together with someone else to benefit their needs and you're, you're scared of that you know so this is the moon you know, because of this heartbreak with this love that you went through with the Divine Masculine, you're scared of the unknown. You're scared of what the future may hold. All right? You are truly terrified, and I feel like you're scared right now opening up your heart to anybody. Because you just don't you just don't know what's out there, and I feel like you've just been through too much. All right? So, do not let, you know... You go through things for life lessons. 
for life lessons. You know, it's not intended for it to scare you so much that you don't want to open up your heart to love at all. You know what I'm saying? So, you you know, through healing and self-love and things like that, you just focus on yourself and you don't have, don't, don't fear. Don't ever be in fear. Because God's going to hear your heart and God is going to see you who is meant for you. You just focus on yourself and you continue to learn and grow, you know. And don't be scared because you're scared. Don't be scared. You're scared that whoever you deal with is going to be some type of secrets lurking around in the background. And you tired of all of these threes. You tired. You like, I'm not working with nobody together on shit. I'm not, I'm not about to play. I'm not selling. No, I'm not doing this shit. I'm not doing this shit. And you, and I feel like everybody that has been coming into your life, you've been looking at them with the side eye and just every little goddamn thing is just a red flag. And I'm not telling you not to look for the red flags, but I feel like you might be over cautious. You know what I'm saying? Where you might be blocking people out because you're so fearful of, you know, what might be lurking around in the background due to all of the drama that you went through with the divine masculine. And not everybody is like him. That was just his story, you know. Not everybody is like that. That that man. And you shouldn't accept somebody wanting you to work together in a third party relationship. You're absolutely right. But don't be so fearful of it that you're blocking yourself. Spirit, please clarify this spread right here. Oop, what is this? The two um. The two of swords. Yeah, you're um you're really trying to make a decision right now if you even are ready, if you're ready emotionally for any type of love. I, I just I you know, look, it's like people been trying to come to you, trying to court you and stuff, and it's just like you really ain't found nobody that you really interested in like that. And, and nobody's really knocked your socks off. You're not you're just like playing coy, like, yeah, mm, I don't know. And I feel like everybody that you've been looking at, you've been looking at them like, yeah, you nice and shit, but what's going on with you in the background? That's what I'm feeling. Spirit is telling you to, you know, balance. Again, balance. Balance and have patience. God is going to send you someone that is right for you. Just continue to work on yourself, okay? And, you know, spiritually work on yourself. This is someone that really you know needs to work on their um work on their emotions and get more spiritually in tune with their intuition and everything and you need to have patience with that continue to work on yourself and balance yourself and god is going to send you who is right for you and then this popped out right here this is the four cups i feel like right now you're really disinterested you're not interested in you're just not interested in love right now. I feel like you just, I feel like you're burnt out. This shit burnt you out. And whatever anybody is trying to offer you, I feel like, like, like I said, you're, you're guarded. You're guarded right now. And you're just like, I don't even, I feel like you're so emotionally burnt the fuck out too. You can't even try to love on somebody even if you wanted to. Cause you're just exhausted. <laughs> I really feel like you're exhausted and you're not really paying attention or focused on anything or anybody. Like, you're really not. You're like, I don't know if I want to, I don't know. Everybody, you just like, no, I'm not really feeling this shit. Ace of Wands, you, 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 you are ready for a new beginning, but I just feel like you're really taking, like I said, that temperature, you're taking it slow. You're taking it slow, and you're really working on yourself and taking it slow right now. And then what is this? This is judgment. Because I feel like this time around, like, you want to make sure that you have good judgment. You don't want to go in a situation blind with your heart on, you know, your heart all out there like that and not making good judgment decisions. You want to make sure that you clear in your mind and that you know exactly what you're getting yourself into and that there ain't no situation where there's no third party bullshit lurking around in the background. You want to make sure that you 
are well aware and that you're making solid decisions and making good judgment calls okay and you i don't feel like you're really in a rush right now to get in any relationship I, like i said i feel like you're burnt out and everybody that comes around you right now you're looking at them like they got some shit going on in the background any damn way and you need to get to your uh, point of yourself where you not looking like everybody and taking out what the divine masculine did on you and everybody that comes into your life because everybody that comes into your life is not going to do to you what the divine masculine did to you and you got to know that okay so let's get some additional messages for my ladies let's um yeah let's find out what god wants to say to you directly spirit god will you or some messages for the divine feminine Please give me some direct messages for the Divine Feminine for this weekend. Alright. Thank you so much, God. Thank you so much. My spiritual guys, thank you so much, all my ancestors. Thank you so much, universe, for closing the chapter to anything that wasn't serving us any longer. Please give us additional advice on how to move forward this weekend. Thank you so much, Spirit. Give the divine for them some guidance for November the 10th and 11th. Relationship harmony, that's on your mind again. Yeah, I know. That's all you want. You want something long, strong, committed. You want something. You want something that's a God gift from heaven. You want something that's heaven sent as a God's gift. Okay? So this is this is what you've been thinking about. This is what you this is what's been on your mind. And it ain't been a divine masculine. And I'm proud of you for that. I'm glad I don't see nothing in about no divine masculine. This is about you moving on and you just being worried about the future. And that's good. That's that's progress. Ladies, that's progress. That is damn progress, okay? The fact that you even watching this video and you ain't watching the other videos with people talking about what the Divine Masculine doing, that's progress, and I'm proud of you. So, like I said, what's on your mind right now and what Spirit is trying to tell you what they got working around in the background for you, girlfriend, okay? They know that you've been worried about this. You just want... Someone that you could feel comfortable with. Someone where you could really just like Stella has your groove back. Waiting to exhale moment. Just an exhale. You looking for relationship harmony. God knows that that's what you want. And that is what is working around in the background. But you have to do your work. Okay? Because you cannot go in a new relationship with baggage. Okay? You can't take fears about what this person did to you into a new are you really gonna find harmony that way are you looking at this person like this you looking at him like man i hope this motherfucker ain't no you know what i'm saying think like, this person might just want to celebrate with you you know what i'm saying might just want to have a good time and get to know you you know what i'm saying have a couple drinks you know what i'm saying have some light conversation and yeah and want to keep getting together you know, keep want to keep reuniting with each other on a frequent basis so they can get to know you. That's probably what they want to do. But if you're looking at them like, man, you might be trying. No, like they might be just wanting you to get to know their family and their friends. And they might really like you like that. You know what I'm saying? They might want to bring you to their family reunion. And you know what I'm saying? Want to bring people that they love around you. You know? So you, you can't go into... A new situation and you want to you want a new start but you can't go into it with a pessimistic negative attitude because of what this motherfucker did to you that was just one love in your life it ain't the first and the damn show ain't gonna be the last leave that nigga where he stand and leave that drama and that baggage where it stands spirit is saying we angels are opening up the hearts of everyone involved arguments and conflicts are now being resolved all right so like i said the conflict and the argument, the inner conflict and the inner argument that you've been having with yourself. Am I ready? Am I ready for love? I've been through so much. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I don't know. 
Is this ever going to come to me? This is the argument that you've been having in your, in your mind. Is this ever going to come to me? I feel like I'm just so unlucky in love. I'm scared because i just been having such a hard time. I don't know if any harmony, true relationship, and true love is ever going to come to me because I went through this and other. You, listen, you keep thinking like that, you're going to continue to bring this into your life. The unrequited love, someone's carrying a whole bunch of secrets and bullshit going on. If you keep thinking like this, this is what you're going to attract into your life. Change your thinking, okay? Always think your mind is a tool. That's what I was telling people on my live yesterday. Your mind is a tool. Always think positive thoughts. Always bring positivity into your heart and your mind. And once you, like I said, once you do your work, hmm, God's gift. God knows that this is what you want. You got to do your work first. And you're doing it. And know that God is proud of you. And he is going to send you a gift from heaven. When you least expect it. Because you're going to find so much enjoyment in just loving yourself and doing what you're doing. Where's y'all manifestation books? Did y'all get y'all manifestation books like I told y'all? You're going to enjoy just checking off this list. And just learning your own power. God is going to say, you know what, she ready. My baby's ready. We angels are bringing you gifts from your creator. Open your arms so you can receive. Open your arms. Don't be in fear. Open your arms. God hear you. You hear me? Do Finish doing your work in my best Ayana um, Van Zandt voice. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. That work will not be done. Not on my watch. Okay? I'm about to go Elizabethan for you. We ain't go all through that for naught. We didn't go through all of that bullshit for naught. God is proud of you. All right? God is proud of you. And he is going to send you a gift. Continue to do your work. You didn't go through that for naught, baby. You didn't go through that for naught. All right? Because there's some brilliance. Your, yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring it into fruition. I don't know what you've been thinking or what you've been doing. Whatever you've been writing down in your manifestation book, that is what God is telling you. Your ideas, God hears you. And God wants you to know everything that you just wrote down in that book, those are brilliant ideas. Brilliant ideas. Why you ain't doing that a long time? Why you didn't come to God and tell him that you wanted to do that a long time ago? Ask and you shall receive. All right? Again, I'm being urged to tell you, that is a beautiful, that's an awesome idea. Why you didn't come to me a long time ago about wanting to do this? Continue your manifestation. You are going to continue to be gifted from God because you finally came to him about these ideas. You are finally focusing on yourselves and your wants and your beliefs and your desires that has nothing to do with nobody but yourself. And you're going to feel so fulfilled. And checking off your list. On this manifestation book. You ain't even going to be paying attention to no damn man. And then he's going to drop a gift from you. Why he's already gifting you about this. God is amazed at your mind right now. Just like I. I hear you. I hear you. And you know what? Not only do he hear you, but God is telling you, you know what? This is sensitivity in the reverse. He says, you're extra sensitive right now to energies. and It says, you're extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. I feel like with this being in reverse, I feel like you are very sensitive right now but i feel like you 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 have you have a, a a hard shell a mask on right now 
and you're not allowing yourself to really feel everything that you need to feel so that you could push past this. You know what I'm saying? It's okay to be sensitive. It's okay. You don't have to be strong all of the time. Okay? Deal with all of the emotions that you need to deal with. Shed, you know, like a snake. Shed that, shed the skin. Shed the skin and be done with it. Because God is trying to tell you, listen, this is a life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change and heal anything that is unbalanced. Isn't that what I told you earlier up here? Balance. I know I said, what was balance in here somewhere? Te balance. Life review. All right? Like I said, you don't even know if you even really ready for it to do this yet. you That's what you've been thinking about. This is, you know, you've been thinking about, like, if, if I'm even really ready for this. I'm just focusing on myself and getting myself balanced of where I want it to be right now. I'm not focused on worrying about no niggas right now. That's not what I'm focused on. I want a brand new start of life, and that starts with me working on me. All right? Because I got to make good judgment calls. I'm not ma I don't want to make no more bad judgment calls. That's why you're doing this life review right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? And what I want you to know, that is, you, you on the right path. Keep, keep writing in your book. Okay? God hears you. God is interested in what you got to say next. Because he thinks you got beautiful ideas. And he wants you to think and tap more into that. Whatever the hell it is you've been writing about. God's proud of you. God is proud of you. Continue to do that. If this is what you want, continue to do what you're doing. Continue to do what you're doing. Alright? So let's get some guidance and love. And we're going to wrap this up. And get on out of here. And I love doing this for you ladies. I love this. I love this. I'm about to um roll out the mid-months. So y'all check out the mid-months for your sign and stuff like that. Um, so I might I'm gonna have to take a break possibly for doing this because I need to focus on the mid-months. But after I get the mid-months, we're gonna keep it rolling. We're gonna keep it rolling, and I'm gonna start a um a playlist. Called the journey of the divine feminine. The journey of the divine feminine. I like that. Spirit, please give me some guidance and love this weekend for the divine feminine. Thank you so much. Please give the divine feminine some guidance and love. Thank you so much. Please give the divine feminine some guidance for November the 10th and 11th. Please give the divine feminine some guidance and love. Thank you so much for your messages in the past, present, and future. Alright. Thank you so much, Spirit. Please give me some guidance for the divine feminine. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. I feel like. What is this? Release your ex. And calling your soulmate, yeah. Finances and career and codependency, yeah. All right. So, listen. You need to let go of trying to hold on so tight to your emotions. I, that's what I feel like. I really feel like you're trying so bad right now to show that you're not hurt and you're not affected by this. That you're holding yourself back to be able to really release this shit, okay? Because you're trying to be more stronger than you are. Go in your house and scream it out, cry it out, get it out. Just let it be done. Let it be done. You do not have to be so strong all the time. You understand what I'm saying? And I honestly feel like you've already worked through your... You've already worked through this. I feel like... This person has come back from the retrograde and been fucking with you. And you are upset with yourself right now because you allowed this person to affect you at all. 
You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm getting in regards to where it's saying let go, you know, of the control issue. Because you, you felt like I let this motherfucker control my emotions again. And I'm mad at myself. You're human. Everybody, this is a Scorpio, Scorpio retrograde or whatever. And Scorpio, whatever the hell they be saying. Like, listen, this shit took everybody the fuck out. Okay? You don't have to feel like you got to be in control every time. You're human. Okay? You learned what you needed to learn through this retrograde. You had let them go before. This person came back trying to talk some bullshit. You, and you dealt with it good. Did you really let him come back and really, really fuck with you? And did? No, you didn't. So just because you allowed and you gave this person any bit of your energy, I know you're upset about that, but don't be upset because you did what you needed to do to wrap this shit up because I feel like this shit is done. This shit is done for you. And the only thing you got to worry about is letting go of the control issues of you being in so much in your head and in fear. You, you, you were... Fearing so much the future of what the future may ha may hold because of what you went through that you're blocking God trying to send you the relationship harmony that you're so much seeking. You have to let go of of, of, of trying to control that. You understand? You're you're trying to control your destiny so hard just to make sure that don't no fuck niggas come in your life that you you're blocking out any man coming into your life. You understand? So let go of that control. Of trying to feel like you gotta control the energies that's coming into your life. You can't can't nobody control the energies coming into your life. You just gotta trust that God knows what He's doing, and then you use your sound judgment. That's why that's why you know you're taking yourself out and you're and you're doing what you're doing right now, and you're trying to find balance because you want to make sure that you are not making bad judgment calls. Okay, so you're doing what you're supposed to do. But you got to let go of the control of just feeling like you got, you know what I'm saying? That's the only way that you're going to learn, okay? That's the only way that you're going to learn is dumbass people coming around and you just learning how to cut that shit out. You don't have to hold so tightly to, you know what I'm saying, and, and feeling like you are in control. You understand? You're taking yourself out of balance by trying to feel like you have to be, you know... You are balanced. You are in control. Know that and, 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 and own it. And own it. All right? And just live your life free and clear. Free and clear. Don't fear this shit. Okay? Let go of that. Um, and release your ex. Finally release it and let it be done. And like I said, just because... You felt, you you mad because you gave this person a little bit of control of your emotions because when this person came back to speak to you, you wish that you'd have had control that you wouldn't even have spoke to him at all. And you mad. But like I said, you had to, you listen, you wanted clarity, you wanted it to be done to, you know what I'm saying, you wanted to wrap it up. It's wrapped up. Let it go. Release them. It's done now. It's done. All right? You need to finally call in your soulmate. But release this motherfucker. Let go of this shit and release this motherfucker finally so that you can really call in your soulmate because you're not able to do it right now for real, for real because you so fucking scared. You scared, you scared of this shit because of this bitch. You scared of third-party relationships because of this motherfucker. Okay? So you're not able to call in your soulmate because you're getting in your own way. Don't let this motherfucker put fear in your heart. That's the past. Release him. Release him and release any fear or anything associated with this motherfucker. That's not your life no more. That's the new bitch that he fucking with. <laughs> That's the new bitch that he fucking with. Gotta worry about that shit. Because you think he changed, he didn't. And you should feel confident in that. And knowing that this motherfucker ain't changing whoever he fucking with. Now that bitch is better for it. Because it ain't you. Because guess what? You ain't got no lack of judgment no more. You know you know how to make good judgment calls now. And that's why you working on yourself. And that's why you motherfucker carried the shit out of this nigga just recently. Right? Right? So don't feel out of control. You know, let, let, let go of that shit. 
Let go of that shit. Calling your soulmate. Flip this shit over. You understand? Flip this shit over to the upright and really call in your soulmate. Because you're writing it down in your damn um, manifestation book. Okay? Don't be scared of this. Don't be scared of this. Because who come in your life is going to be new and true. And this is, and, and I, like I said yesterday, I feel like you're letting your financial situation get in your head and make you feel like, oh, I don't got no clothes, I ain't got no shoes, or I'm not where I want to be, finances, or maybe I need to just focus and work on my finances and career. And you do. And you do need to focus and work on your finances and career. Because, like I said, when you're focusing on yourself and you're not paying attention, worrying about relationship harmony and shit, that's when God is going to send to you what is really meant to you. But the person that really, really loves you that's going to come around, this person is not going to be someone that is codependent on you. And that's another thing that you fear. You understand? You fearing that the person that's going to come is going to be just like that bum-ass nigga that you was fucking with, going to be codependent on you for finances and career because this person ain't got their shit together. That's not your future. This is your past. Leave the shit in your past with your ex. Leave it in the past. Because the new person that you got coming in your life, this person not going to care about your finances and career. This person is going to see you and going to love you for you. And they ain't got no reason to be codependent on you because they going to build you up and help you get your shit to where you really want to be. And they're going to be like, oh, shit, you write manifestation list? I do that shit, too. What's your say? Come on, we're going to work on this shit together. This person, like I told you the other day, this person is going to be, this person is going to be right in line with you spiritually and everything. And everything. Okay? So let me give you some additional guidance going out the door. And we're going to wrap this up. I mean, this is good for the weekend. This is good for the weekend. Girl, God is saying that he is proud of you. And keep, manifest keep manifesting. Keep manifesting. Spirit, please give Divine Feminine some additional guidance. For this weekend. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much. Oh. All right. So this is the page of pentacles in reverse. All right. So I feel like right now, um, you're, you're in the planning stage right now because you're focused on your finances and career. You're in a planning stage right now, but I just feel like um, whatever you're working on right now, for some reason, it's, it's just like it's not taken off for some reason because whatever you're planning is not taken off the way that you really want it to there's slow progression and i don't really feel like you've really been focusing on the planning that you really need to because i really do feel like this shit right here this this bullshit coming back i think it threw you off it threw you off. I feel like before this shit came around, <laughs> you was like this. You was, like, I mean, like a child. You was so super excited about whatever this new shit is that you're working on. And this is way before you even had your manifestation list. Because you ain't even have a mani manifestation list yet. I mean, you was just working on yourself and you was working on something. And you was really excited about it. You were putting a lot of energy into it. And this situation came back around and the shit threw you off of your planning. Okay? And it's something that you decided, you know, it's like you took your you took your eyes off the prize. You took your eyes off the prize for something that you decided to leave out in the cold anyway. You know? That's why I said you mad at yourself because 
you even gave this motherfucker your attention anyway. Because it's like, I left your ass out in the cold for a reason. I, I, I know. I'm spiritually guided. I know that that shit is not in line with who I am spiritually. I know who I am. I know what I accept. I know what my beliefs are. I know what my foundation is. I don't have time for this. I'll leave you right where the fuck you staying. And I'm mad that I even stopped planning to give you any of my fucking energy at all. Okay? That's what I got. And you left that nigga right where the fuck he stood. Right out there in the cold where he was. Because when you, if you knew better, you do better. And you know better. You know better. You not going to marry me. You not going to do right by me. You not going to do what I need you to do. I need a real man. I want a husband. I'm going to leave your bitch ass right where you stay. Don't be mad. Be glad because you needed to leave that motherfucker where he stay. That needed, it, that, that's what you needed. Be empowered. Feel empowered, okay? And get back to work. Get back to work. And let that nigga continue to stalk you online. Because when he's stalking you online the other day, let that nigga continue to stalking you online and see you see your progression. Because guess what? When this mother, when this come into your life, boo. Huh? Hmm. Somebody going to be tight. Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all have a wonderful weekend. Bring this into... Manifest it. Write that down in your book. Write that down in your book. Alright? I love y'all. Don't be in fear. It's coming. I love y'all.